The difference between a good life and a bad life is how well you walk through the fire. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darknesses of other people. We cannot change anything until we accept it. Condemnation does not liberate, it oppresses. The first half of life is devoted to forming a healthy ego. The second half is going inward and letting go of it. Real liberation comes not from glossing over or repressing painful states of feeling, but only from experiencing them to the full. Everyone you meet knows something you don't know but need to know. Learn from them. Conflict exists strictly as an opportunity to raise our consciousness. If a man knows more than others, he becomes lonely. The ability to ask questions is the greatest resource in learning the truth. The reason for evil in the world is that people are not able to tell their stories. That which we do not confront in ourselves we will meet as fate. People will do anything, no matter how absurd to avoid facing their own souls. I've realized that somebody who's tired and needs a rest, and goes on working all the same as a fool. Where wisdom reigns, there is no conflict between thinking and feeling. The more veiled becomes the outside world steadily losing in color, tone and passions, the more urgently the inner world calls us. A man who has not passed through the inferno of his passions has never overcome them. The only thing we have to fear on this planet is man. The healthy man does not torture others. Generally it is the tortured who turn into torturers. There is no birth of consciousness without pain. Perfection belongs to the gods. The most we can hope for is excellence. Wholeness is not achieved by cutting off a portion of one's being, but by integration of the contraries. One is always in the dark about one's own personality. One needs others to get to know oneself. Good does not become better by being exaggerated, but worse and a small evil becomes a big one through being disregarded and repressed. Life is a luminous pause between two mysteries that are yet one. Much of the evil in the world is due to the fact that man in general is hopelessly unconscious. You must live life in such a spirit that you make in every moment the best of possibilities. Real work is completed in silence and strikes a chord in the minds of only a very few. We should not pretend to understand the world only by the intellect. The judgment of the intellect is only part of the truth. Please subscribe my channel, love you all, thank you.